Hey, Adam, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, doing fantastic. Excited to hear about some more new features, cool new features with Windows 10. So I have a really interesting one for us. So it is a spring here at IT mm -hmm. Pro TV. And in the, in the um, kind of... Uh, spirit if you will of spring i thought it would be good to do a little cleaning Ooh, always good always, always good, good right yeah. so you never know what you'll find when you clean up i was rummaging around under here i found all sorts of stuff uh and we figured out where wes hides his uh, snack cache, by the way <laughs> but i thought it would be cool to show you how to clean your desktop holy cow when was the last time you saw my desktop oh, look that clean? i'll be honest with you adam i've been working with you for quite a while and never I'd only looked that way when I got the machine and I took it out of the box, I turned it on and they said, oh look, here's a brand new desktop. Wow. And from that point forward, uh, it did not look like that. So I thought it would be cool we showed you how to hide your desktop icon. Because there's you do a way to do that, actually. And I know you didn't just select them all and delete them. I did not, you because not you know me. Yeah. I would want to put them back, and I can't put them back. It's actually very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. But as we always try to do is we do these uh, quick views of what we're doing. I'll zoom in, let you just quickly absorb the idea behind this. You know, In the uh, desktop, you can right-click, and among the options you get is a view menu. Most people bypass that, don't even realize it's there. They may look at it and say, I want to change the icon size. A lot of people will do that. I've got mine set to like medium size icons. But there's an option a little bit further down that right-click shortcut pop-out list that allows you to toggle your desktop icons on and off. They don't disappear permanently. They're not deleted, because trust me, I would not want to do that. <laughs> but they do clear the desktop for you. Now this is my normal desktop and I can go in, can go to my desktop and you can see, and I'll zoom in so you can see this, you can see my path right there and you can see all the stuff that is supposed to be on my desktop. There's quite a lot of it as you can see. And as I scroll down, all that stuff that's normally there is still there. I have not removed any of it. I have simply just removed it from view going to close that while we're talking. Now, how did I do that? Real simple, right click, view. I'm going to highlight it so you can see it. And you'll see right there at the bottom of the list, show desktop icons. And all you need to do is do that. Now, mine's going to take about five to 10 seconds to render back because I have <laughs> a lot of stuff on my desktop. Ta-da, there you go. That's the normal desktop we're used to seeing. <laughs> But I can easily remove and add them back in with no trouble. And if I want to remove them again, right? Mm -hmm. all I have to if do you can right find click. a spot to right click. I, that's the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> all I have to do is do that. Now, let me just show you what it looks like when it's set. You'll see there's a check mark to the left of show uh, indicating, yes, I am doing that. So all I have to do is simply just go over here, uncheck, and boom. It goes away really quick, but it actually takes several seconds right. to come back. But that's all you got to do to remove your desktop icons. Now you were saying to me, you know, this may be an issue, I would use it, but I potentially could be concerned about the fact that the icons would actually be deleted right. and perhaps not right. come back permanently. Mm -hmm. So they're not being deleted, unless of course you choose to go delete them. Right. They are simply removed from the view, mm -hmm. essentially turned off. Now we used to be able to do this with, and we still could, with group policies, yeah. you know, who hasn't taken advantage of a unsuspecting coworker <laughs> yeah. and hidden, you know, the icons on the desktop. I'll admit I'm guilty, Take right? Take a nice picture of their desktop. And and put, put it, it on there. Why yeah. is nothing working, right? I mean, it's a slow day in support, right? Yeah. You got to do stuff to stay <laughs> occupied. So we've all probably played around with aspect of this nibbled at the edges in Windows XP, Windows 7, mm -hmm. Windows Vista, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, this is, I think actually, I don't have a need for this. I mean, right. yes, clearly I do. I have a problem, right? I get that. <laughs> but, you know, normally I, I just leave my stuff on my desktop. I mean, for me, it's my filing cabinet. I know where everything is. Whenever you come to me and say, I need a file, I need something. I'm like, oh, I can give that to you, no problem. We can start a reality show about this, I suppose. Right. Well, I am a hoarder. I do admit that. <laughs> but, hey, when you need something, you know where to come, Right. right. Well, and in between episodes, we were talking we about it, I said, I have a very good use case for mm -hmm. this now that I know about it, because I tend to, if I'm downloading something from the internet, something, I, uh, an image, a PDF, or something I want to grab later, but I don't want to throw it in my documents or my downloads, because I will forget about it, and it will be there forever. So I'll put it on my desktop, leave it there until I'm ready to use it, and then I can get rid of it. But in the meantime, it's there, and if I need that clean desktop because I'm doing a presentation or something like that, this is a really just handy way. It on and off, right? Yeah, just hide them real, real cool. quick. Do what you got to do, and then bring them right back, and there they are.
Two thumbs up. I like this one. This is probably a, one of so, my the coolest cool new features. In the spirit of spring cleaning, right? Yeah. Uh, showing you how to do that. You're never going to see my desktop clean again. So <laughs> rewatch this as often as necessary, but that's never going to happen again. That was but a, I actually thought it was just kind of a neat little short one, but actually it may be a little useful depending on what you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. All, All right. right, Adam. Well, we appreciate that. Another great look at one of those cool new features in that latest version of Windows 10.